Today we will be talking about the bind, um, or as it's probably more commonly referred to in Star Wars, the blade lock. Right? And we know if uh, Rick, if you come up here, you you know you see it all the time in in, in the movies. They get together up here, and then they come in here and they start delivering dialogue and everything like that. Now that's obviously that's not really what happens. You don't you, you don't really do that, and we're not going to be delivering dialogue or anything like that. But that is a kind of abstraction on something that is present in sword, in sword play, which is the bind. And the bind is when I have my blade pressing on and preventing the other person's blade, hopefully, from doing what it wants to do, okay? Now, you can talk about that here anytime the swords come together, that, that, that can be considered a bind. So even though we might be out here, we can still use there. Um, and there are specific times when we want to do that. More often than not, though, the bind comes in close. Okay, And you're putting a lot of pressure on here and then trying to move around like this. So as I go over here like this, he comes over here, I try to push up there. Okay, And as you see, it's just this very uh, kind of intricate thing. Now, if let's use one of these regular swords and they can... Okay, so where this is coming from is from weapons like this, where we're coming in here like this, and then we get in here, and then moving around in this. Okay, you see? Now, there's a, a good use of the cross guard is I'm using the leverage from the cross guard to move over into the bind so that I can get on top of his sword right there, right? Just a little tidbit there for people who like the cross guard see. Um, you can't do that very well there, okay? But that's what this is for, right? The idea here is that when I'm in here, when we've got these weapons, the worst place I want to be is on the end of that thing, right? That's where it's moving the fastest, it's the sharpest, it's the most dangerous. Right? So if he's really fast and he keeps coming in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to bind up with him so that he cannot do that. Right? Now that, of course, binds me up as well. Right? Anytime you grab somebody, they're grabbing you. Okay? So you have to learn what, what exactly to do in here. Where can I move? If I move in particular ways, I can move a lot of different ways if he continues to put pressure on here. Because that's the thing. If he's putting pressure on here, he may be open down there, but I am not free to take advantage of that opening because the moment I take my, my, my sword away, I'm gonna get hit. So that's where this kind of comes in. I'm here, we're pressing up against each other. So what I have to do is I have to be able to keep that pressure on his sword and move into the openings that I want to get, right? It's obviously a different game when dealing with these guys than when dealing with the lightsabers, right? Because we can no longer touch our blades. So now it becomes a very, very kind of different thing. So you're gonna see it a little bit differently. We, 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 we can come in, but when we're coming in, we're trying to block this area over here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out just by the, the, the basic mechanics of how can we keep pressure against each other's blade and move around. See, he can keep pressure on my blade to keep me from coming in, and I can keep pressure on his blade from that. Now, it doesn't look like much, because it's all about pressure, right? I'm putting a little bit of effort into here. If I want to get, I can move up onto his blade and can get a little bit more leverage. That's going to force him to get into to another type of position. He's, he can do the same thing. We can kind of whip around here. We can suddenly take away the, the resistance. As I'm pushing on here, I can take it away, right? Obviously, I don't want to take it away and just keep it there. I, take it away and I, I, and I move up. So if we're here like this, I can take it away and now I have 
these types of things that way. Okay, so that's a little bit of an introduction onto the bind, and. Uh,